few years ago, it was a Discipleship Sunday, and I happened to be um, doing some help um, prior to Mass, and I was waiting out in the atrium. And I remember the priest saying, pray big for what you want in life that you don't have. So I started thinking to myself, well, what could that be? And I said, I would like to be involved. This, take, take, keep in mind, this was about eight and a half, nine years ago. I said, I would like to be involved in a men's ministry organization that extends well beyond just my parish. And I said, I don't know. I'm thinking it might be an opportunity for me to get to know men from, and I, and I prayed big. I said, 100 plus parishes. Well, my prayer has been answered because through this organization, I, I can, on so many different uh, situations and times in my life, I can reach out to other brothers from Granbury to Wichita Falls to Central Texas to almost the Red River and certainly throughout the, uh, the, 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 the Metroplex, if you will, and call upon these brothers to say, here's an issue that I'm dealing with. What, what, what's, your, what's your advice? What's your feedback? And likewise, men have reached out to me for feedback on various things. So I also, part of my prayer was to get to know men of the Lord who would be role models for me. And I'm thinking in all the different roles that I've played in this ministry over the years, how in the world did the Lord put Deacon Burke Sivers in my car, put Father Larry Richard in my car, put Father Wade Menezes in my car? That is the work of the Holy Spirit saying, Bill, you asked. I answered. And so my pledge and my plea to men is to be open, be receptive to inviting change in your life because clearly there was a time in my life when sports talk radio is all that you would see on the set pre-dial. Well, um, fortunately, I am a huge fan of Guadalupe Radio Network, particularly this radio station, and on Sirius Radio, listen to the Catholic Channel. And so I told Patrick Coffin, that he personally was the reason why I signed up for Sirius Radio because when he was on Catholic Answers, I listened to him on my commute home and I said, this guy is feeding me with exactly what my prayer was. I needed that nourishment, that spiritual nourishment in my life. And so I, I just think that God responds to our prayers sometimes quickly Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but by attending a conference like this, you know, God places us where he needs us to display his light. And my hope and my prayer is that that place for men to be will be at the conference on February 23rd. Amen, Brother Bill.